do I ever hear audio that makes me second guess my reviews? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. And there is a perfect example of this. Let me hold up this microphone. It is the Sennheiser MD441U $1,000 dynamic microphone. When I bought it, only $900, so it's more expensive now. But I actually have the ability to do this now. I'm going to mute my main microphone and turn on the Sennheiser MD441U. I don't think the levels are appropriate, but we'll have to make do. I'll have to fix it in post. Ew, I said the thing that I don't ever want to say. I heard this microphone on so many recordings. I shouldn't say so many. I heard it on a number of recordings and thought, oh my gosh, this is such a cool sounding microphone. I love it. It gives you that smooth sound that I love, but it gives you a bit more top end. It just sounds awesome. I need it. I will be the first one to review it and it will become my microphone. It that I was thinking that. I heard one voiceover sample because there weren't many. And I heard a bunch of songs recorded with this. Bunch of live videos, Scary Pockets. I think Pomplamoose used it as well. And sounds phenomenal in those recordings. Well, I got it. I did not like it. I was not a big fan. I was not a big fan of it. And I put it away in the box after I reviewed it. It sat there for about two years. And I was convinced again, oh, I'm going to love this microphone. This microphone is going to be so cool. I cannot wait to take this out and use it again. Talking about the microphone, okay? And (laughs) let me tell you, my opinion did not change. I still do not like how this thing sounds. First off, I have the high pass filter in position one. So I have a little bit of a high pass. This, this is how it sounds without the high pass filter engaged. It's just a bit too much bass. Then when we go to the first position, there we go. A little bit more controlled low end. If I turn on the high shelf, no, just no. And this is one where when I hear it on other people, I just think it sounds so good. When I watch Dave Ratt's video where he tears this down, I want to love this thing. But then when I hear it, I don't. Now, some of you may be thinking, hey, it might be broken. Nope. Because I went ahead. When I bought this originally, it was broken. I sent it back to Sennheiser. They repaired it, sent it back to me. So this is from Sennheiser a fully functioning microphone. This is apparently how this ought to sound, and I just do not like it. I wish I did. I wish when I listen to those, when I, when I listen back to my voice recorded on this, I heard the sound that I hear all those other recordings sounding like, because those other recordings made me want to spend a thousand dollars on a dynamic, but just doesn't sound that way. So I'm not going to review it and say, well, I think it's a wonderful sounding microphone because in my experience, in my use case, I just didn't love it. Other people have used it to great effect, but it seems to have been outclassed over the last 40 years. How long has it been out? 40 years, 50 years? It's been out for a while. It's an old design. So just not my cup of tea. This is a perfect example of it. I should love it, but I don't. Let me go ahead and pull my Neumann. Hello, Neumann. Back and shut off the Sennheiser because yikes. And we are back. Listen to all that top end. How fitting. Sennheiser owns Neumann. Hello, Neumann. How cool is that? Two Sennheiser microphones in the same episode. That is fun. 